Hi folks. So we are at Meadowbrook Pond. Uh, we were originally supposed to go to Samish Flats, but it got really rainy uh, and very windy and stormy. So we decided it wasn't worth the one hour plus drive. So we took the much shorter drive to the pond where it's not raining right now. Uh, maybe a little bit of a drizzle. Uh, the sun is still not out, but the wind has also died down and maybe you'll see something in the pond. Uh, we can definitely hear a lot of birds uh, today. So we'll see how it goes. tree is actually one of the most more interesting trees around here. Uh, I don't know if it's true right now, but definitely towards spring, I guess, you will see uh, blue, great blue heron babies. At least they used to. I've heard rumors that uh, they got attacked by a bald eagle or an osprey, and maybe the herons haven't come back since then. But you can kind of see some nests on that tree. Uh, basically, that's where the great blue herons nested. Makes quite the sight. One of the best parts of coming to Meadowbrook and places like this is I get to come out with him. Uh, he's probably the world's most enthusiastic bird watcher at his age and he's got quite the camera. Uh, uh, he uses the Canon R6, which is what I'm shooting on right now. My R5 is getting prepared. And uh, he uses it with an RF600 lens. And that lens, can you lift it up, is uh, quite, quite perfect for someone his age. Uh, it's very light. Uh, it gives, gets, gives you great reach. It's sharp, as long as you can deal with some of the limitations, f by 11, the limited uh, uh, focus points on it, you get some killer photographs. This is uh, a bridge that goes on top of the pond. And it's again a good area to go look at birds. It's kind of quiet today. Normally this place would be teeming with magansas around now. He's seen something. I wonder what he's seen. So I wanted to talk a little bit about why birding is so much fun and some of the things I like about it. Um, I saw a YouTube video by James Poxis recently where he talked about the two kinds of photographers. Those who go out, enjoy the outdoors and take pictures along the way. And those who go to take pictures. Uh, I think I'm in the former category. The kid out there is probably in the second. He comes out for photography specifically, and if he doesn't get them, he feels very unhappy. In my case, that's not true. As I grew older, I realized uh, I just enjoyed being out there, looking for birds, uh, taking pictures. I like love photography. And while I like birds and identifying them, it's not the way my dad does. He's pretty hardcore about it or even my son for that matter. 
Uh, so, you know, it's one of those things that keeps me connected to nature. It's a great way, it's a great family outing. It's one of the many reasons I enjoy birds and birding. In the end, this is my favorite part about being a birder these days. Having a son who is totally into it, who loves photography. It's going to be better than me someday. That's pretty darn awesome. <laughs>